y'all ready for the word of God? Open up your Bibles. Yeah. We're going to, let's go to Malachi. Malachi chapter 1. And we're going to honor God with our tithes and offerings. And that's exactly what we're going to be teaching about today. Honoring God. When you honor someone, you are bringing that relationship into a higher level. If you honor your husband, you're going to draw your husband closer to you. If you honor your wife, you're going to draw your wife closer to you. When you honor those that you work with, you're going to build stronger relationships. When you honor your children, you're going to raise them up to a higher standard. Anyone that, on, whatever you honor is going to be brought closer to you. Whatever you disrespect is going to push, be pushed away. If you, if you want to destroy your marriage, just dis start disrespecting your husband and your wife. If you want to destroy your children, start disrespecting them. If you want to destroy your finances, start disrespecting your finances. Whatever you honor, you're putting value upon it. And like a magnet, it comes. And so honor is a secret on entering into higher levels of blessing. If you don't like certain things in your life, find out, are you honoring or are you cursing? Am I honoring God's word? If I don't honor God's word, I'm never going to receive more. Amen? Am I honoring men and women of God? If I honor men and women of God, I'll build stronger relationships and I'll be able to be around them. See, that's a secret for, for people that want to grow. When you know someone that has strength in their life that you don't have, honor them and watch how their strengths will become your strengths. Amen? Whoever honors you, you will be drawn to. Whoever disrespects you, you will reject. And this is not just in people, but this is in every area of our life. And many people never grow with God because they don't show him the proper honor and respect that he's, he deserves. Amen. If there's anything you should honor, you should honor the Lord. Amen. In Malachi chapter 1, praise the Lord. Verse 6, it says, A son honors his father and a servant his master. If then I am the father, where is my honor? And if I am a master, where is my reverence? Says the Lord of hosts. The Bible ta talks about how the fear of the Lord is the beginning of all wisdom. Many people who, who come to God at the beginning of their walk, what, 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 where do they need to start at? They need to start with the fear of God. Sometimes we, we put God on in, in the side and we, we try to make him just like us. Oh, he, he, he's, he, he's just like us. Just go and talk to him however way. Just go and, you know, talk to him when you have need. Disrespect him when, when he's not, when you don't need him. And they wonder why their relationship with God doesn't grow. They wonder why they are not receiving the anointing of God to do the things of God. When they hear that God wants to use them, but they never see God's power upon them. Well, it's because honor. I was speaking to this one, this one woman. She, she, she told me even last night, she said, Pastor, after you prayed for me, the power of God has been on my life. It's been so strong. And I told her, just start praying for others. Let God use you. This is a woman that's been serving God for a long time. But her level of growth with God is going to another level in the anointing of God and the power of God. Why? Because her eyes have changed. She's starting to honor God like she's never honored God before. And when you honor those that, 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 are, that could be a blessing to your life, when you honor God, watch how God will honor you and lift you up into places you've never been before. To do things you've never done before. Amen? Those that, that, that honor God, I'm telling you, 
the devil doesn't stand a chance around you. <laughs> Those that honor God, they will shine bright in a dark land. Those that reverence God, they will receive the best of God. Those that disrespect, those that do not honor, those that reject, they're going to be living a life where it's going to be very difficult. Amen. And so I want to encourage you today. If God is your God, if God is your God, if Jesus is your Lord, if God is your Father, then you must follow his ways, not yours. You must honor him and receive his direction and follow his path, not what you feel, not what you think, but what God says. The greatest form of honor is obedience. Amen? And God has given us his word to give us direction for our life so that we know without a shadow of doubt which way we're supposed to go. Amen? So don't go into, don't fight against God. Honor God. Don't, go, don't be like a, a stubborn child. You know, a stubborn child who, who keeps his mouth shut when you're trying to put food in. Amen? No, just be willing. Be open. Let God lead you. The Bible says if you're willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. Amen? And I believe that we have a bunch of willing and obedient people here today. Amen? Praise the Lord. Now go to Malachi chapter 3. And Malachi chapter 3 is a secret that takes all of us to the next level. The Bible says in Malachi chapter 3, verse 8, beginning verse 8 says, Will a man rob God? Yet you have robbed me. But you say, In what way have we robbed you? In tithes and offerings. You are cursed with a curse, for you have robbed me, even this whole nation. God's talking to us here. Bring all the tithes into the storehouse that there may be food in my house. And try me now in this, says the Lord of hosts, if I will not open for you the windows of heaven and pour out for you such blessing that there will not be room enough to receive it. And I will rebuke the devourer for your sakes so that he will not destroy the fruit of your ground. Nor shall the vine fail to bear fruit for you in the field, says the Lord of hosts. And all nations will call you blessed, for you will be a delightful land, says the Lord of hosts. Here God says, give me my honor. Who's the one that blessed you? Is it because of your skills and abilities? Is it because of your sacrifice? Thank God for skills and abilities. Thank God for opportunity to sacrifice. But who kept you breathing? Who gave you the strength to, to, to do? Who opened up your mind to understand? Who gave you the opportunity? Who opened the door for you to walk through? Who caused the rain to come down to bless your land? Who gave you the seed to sow? It's God. And see, God says, bring all the tithes and the offerings into his storehouse for one reason, so that there may be food. Here's an opportunity. God's saying, I don't want other people to go hungry. So I'm going to bless you so that I can use you to bless someone else. I thank God for this church. I can't tell you how many times people were just driving along the highway and they stopped to pull in here because they said something told them to. And there was someone here to share the gospel with them and introduce them to Jesus. I thank God that people come here every week and they hear the gospel and their lives are changed. And I thank God we're not just thinking about what's in these four walls, but we're sending this gospel to the nations. We're feeding the hungry. We're taking care of the widow and the orphan. We are preaching the fullness of God. We believe the full gospel, amen? 
Not just a little bit. I'm not looking for a man's way of doing things. I want God's ways of doing things. If I follow man, they'd say, don't pray for the sick. That's for those that were maybe in Acts chapter 2, but not now. They don't know, but Acts never stop. I'm walking in it right now. This is the, the Acts is the Acts of the Holy Spirit. And it just moved from, from Peter and Paul to, to Kevin and John. Amen. <laughs> it moved from, from them to us. And the same Holy Spirit that, that flowed through Paul is the same Holy Spirit that flows through us. Why would I listen to man? Yeah, man will always tell me what I can't do, but God always tells me what I can do. I'm listening to God. I honor God. I remember the Lord. I, I honor him. And he gives me ideas. He shows me my, my blessed place. He leads me. Amen. And so as we honor God, the word of God says that he will release a blessing that there's not enough room to receive it. Hello. That means even in the, in the, in the desert, God will bless you. No matter what country you're from, God will bless you. See, the blessings of God are not determined by economies. The blessings of God are not determined by the soil, whether you're in good land or desert land. The blessings of God are dependent upon your willingness and your obedience. Amen. And if you honor God, God will honor you. We've been hearing testimonies throughout this church of people receiving blessings that nobody could even imagine. People are, are, are getting their, their mortgages paid off. People are getting cars bought for them. People are receiving promotions and increase. Not because there was something at the, that, that they knew of, that they worked real hard to do it, but because the blessing of the Lord had opened up the door. And these are people that are not chasing after the blessing. The blessing chases after them. Amen. This is the abundant life that Jesus talks about. Where not only are you blessed spiritually, but you're blessed physically, socially, mentally, and financially. I can't tell you how many people have lost weight because they got saved. I, that's been one of the greatest weight loss tips I've ever seen. I've seen people literally who were like this when they came in and they got saved and they began to lose weight. Well, the life of God comes in and changes everything about them. Amen. Amen. If you begin to honor God, you know, it's very difficult to walk away from something you're invested in. When you give your tithes and offerings, you are investing in the gospel. Wherever your heart is, the Bible says that's where your treasure is going to be as well. And so when you give to the kingdom of God, you are releasing your faith that you believe in the things of the Lord. Amen. Amen. I'm, I'm so honored to be a pastor of this church. We receive testimonies all over the world, and people are always reaching out and telling us about the needs that they're going through. I have ministers from almost every nation you can imagine. They send me personal letters, they share their vision, and they talk about where they're at and where they're going. And they will ask us if we would consider supporting them along the way. I wish I had all the resources to just go out and support anybody that the Lord puts across me. But I follow God even in my giving. Where God has declared, this is the land that you sow into, that's where I sow. It could be one of, have one of the greatest ministries, but I am not moved by what people are doing. I am moved by the voice of the Lord. Amen? And so my give, even my giving is in faith. Amen? But I, I used to ask, why would they always ask me? I mean, because, you know, when you ask the church and the ministry and and you show the needs. I mean, it's so big. It's so big, the problems and the, and the cares that are going on. And, and you look at what you have and you think, this is not enough, right? But God always multiplies. And I used to ask God, God, why are you having these people ask? And it's because they see the blessing upon you. Amen. I'd rather be on the side where I'm able to be a blessing to others. We are givers, amen. How do you know that your life has changed, that God is changing your life? It's because you enter into the land of giving. Before you were only led by your lust of the flesh, but when you enter into the land of giving, where you're following God, first you honor God, and then you're letting God speak to you where to give, how to give, where to sow. Watch how God will honor you, amen. If he is God, if he's your father, if he's your Lord, honor him. 
if you were looking, if you were thinking about getting married, the first question I would ask your future husband or your future wife, are you a tither? Why would you ask that, Pastor? Wouldn't you ask, you know, what, what are your plans? What are your dreams? Wouldn't you ask if they're pretty or handsome? Because if they if they don't, if they're not, they don't fear God, then they will definitely not fear you. And if they don't fear God, whatever I do as they say at the altar mean absolutely nothing. Amen. Amen. But if they're a tither, that means they fear God. That means they look at their finances before they buy their tacos. And they say, something belongs to the Lord. I come to give honor to God and thank him for his blessings upon my life. So they come with their tithes. They come with their, their offerings to thank the Lord for all that he's done for them. Amen. And so that's how you know that this is, this is, a, this is a relationship that's headed in the right direction. Are they tithers? Do they honor God? Amen. If they don't honor God, they will definitely not honor you. Amen? 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And if they don't honor God, my suggestion to you, my advice to you is run. <laughs> run fast. Run quick. Amen? Don't have time to be messing with knuckleheads. Amen? I want those that fear the Lord. You know, if I'm going to be in a relationship, I'm going to be in a relationship for those that fear the Lord. I thank God for my wife. My wife, she will make sure that we honor God in everything we do. And if we don't, I, I don't not only do I, I have the, the wrath of God, but I have the wrath of my wife. Amen. Praise God. Sometimes it's done with, 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 with open heart. Other times it's because of fear and trembling. However way it works. I thank God that we honor the Lord. Amen. And then when you honor God, God will honor you. Amen. It's so much easier to live when you walk by faith, trusting in the Lord. The world has so many problems and so many obstacles you're going through. You hear the news and all they got is bad news. But when you're living for God, you get to trust in him. Amen. You don't care what it looks like outside. We are in the household of the Lord. Amen. It doesn't matter what it looks like on the outside when the Lord is blessing us on the inside and when the Lord is our covering and he's our protector, when he's our father. How many know that the father always takes care of his children? Amen. And so I encourage you to step on out in faith. Begin to honor God. If you've missed it, just repent before God and say, God, forgive me. But, Lord, I thank you that you've shown me a better way to live. And begin to honor God with your tithes and offerings and bless God and watch how God will take care of you. Amen. I, I, I can tell you this, God will give you testimonies. He will show you how good he is, amen? Hallelujah. How many of you can honestly say, since you've been serving God and you've been tithing, the Lord has blessed you. Let me see your hands. Praise the Lord, amen? Give God praise, amen? <laughs> Hallelujah. Let's go and honor God with our tithes and offerings. If you need an envelope, there's an envelope in the front of your chair. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. God is good. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Make sure you add an S after millions. Amen. An S after thousands. Amen. Praise God. Start having a vision that God's going to allow you to make those checks. Amen. That you're going to be able to give in the thousands one day. Amen. Start having a vision. Start having, God can do it. God can do it. Amen. Tell your neighbor, God can do it. It's so much better when he does it. Amen. Because you know you can't, but, if, but when you can, it's because God did it. Amen. It's so much better when God does it for you. Amen. So start having the vision. All we are are the vessels that the Lord uses. The blessings will come down upon you and God will use you for his glory. Amen. Praise God. Stand up on your feet. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. God is so good. Amen. Praise God. You know, I had one friend 
He told me, he said, he said, you know, Pastor, your father had all these doctors and these teachers and these politicians and all these wealthy businessmen that, that came to, to, to church and they supported the ministry. But, but you, you have people from all sorts of life. You have folk, amen. You have people that are just, they love God, amen. But I got so excited because I saw the future that you're going to rise up and become the leaders, amen. <laughs> and when that happens, it's because the Lord did it. It's because God did it. I remember when it was difficult for me and my wife to make a $30 check. And then it was a difficult. We could tell you the time when we made our, we first gave God a hundred dollars. That was a stretch, amen. I worked in ministry, amen. So it wasn't just believing God for increase in the workplace. I was saying, God, please talk to my dad to give me a raise, amen. We had a, we had a joke because you know I, I I started serving the Lord in television ministry. I would do the TV editing and producing of my dad's TV programs. When I was nine years old, I started. And, uh, and there was a joke in the family. They, they would say, the only th way you're going to get a, a raise is when you have children. Amen. So we had two, and we got raises. Amen. Praise God. <laughs> I think it was just because our taxes changed. I don't know, I'm not sure if the, the salary changed. Amen. But, you know, God is a good God. Amen. And I thank God that he's blessed me, and I thank God he's going to bless me more. Amen. That's why we're going to continue to honor God. And I believe God's going to bless you and bless you more. Amen. Amen. Praise God. It's because God did it. Amen. Nobody will receive the glory. Nobody will receive the honor. The Lord will receive all the glory and the honor for what he does in your life. Amen. Your business is going to be blessed because of the Lord. Amen. Your workplace is going to be blessed because of the Lord. Your finances, your investments are going to be blessed because of the Lord. Your health is going to be blessed because of the Lord. Your marriage is going to be blessed because of the Lord. Let no man receive glory. Let no man receive honor. Let God receive all the glory. Let God receive all the honor in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Hold that offering before you.